Got things to do, buddy. Got my wife. Thank you. Goodbye. Welcome back to the Full Stack Gaming Server. As you guys can tell, I am fully clad in diamond armor finally. Uh, yeah, so I have been working my little butt off of it here. As you guys can tell, I've got a little, uh, I guess, camp, you could say, set up. Or a little, I don't know what it is. I guess we're going to go with camp. Uh, another portal is up there, so you guys can kind of tell where I'm at. I am at the island at the big base project. Uh, I've mainly just been working on uh, some little stuff. I've been working on the... Uh, well, what am I trying to say here? The uh, colony more than over here, but over here I, I live streamed I think once this week on this project and uh, Ended up with something rather cool kind of took a little bit of Zloy's ideas from the colony with the villager statues and Down here. I've got an entrance to a mine which I kind of I think it's rather silly that my mine entrance has this much coolness going on at it. This is just even not even a real project. It's just something I've been messing around with, playing around with the ideas of it. And this is what I've come up with. So I need to build the opposite villager statue over there. Which that's probably what I'm going to do the first off. Well, actually, it's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make sure I've got the uh, mid... Oh, come on. Oh. Really got to figure something out. Which, I don't know. I don't want to make something really cool on the way to get back up here because this whole column of land is going to be gone at some point i'm going to tear it all down and probably replace most of it up there but yeah let's make sure i just have food and whatnot uh, as you guys can see i've got tons of crap going on here tons of stuff here canine or no anger gorilla brought these uh Pearls over to me earlier. So many angry people on here. It gets, gets confusing. But Angry Gorilla brought me some and I gave him a diamond block just because, hey, why not? I'm mining a bunch and I have a lot of diamonds down in that hole. Which, I don't, you guys can't see it from here. Uh, but you can see the effect I do. Yeah, see, haste to. Over there, you can't really see it for whatever reason, but there is a beacon activated. Because Nick Nasty was so nice enough to offer to give me one. Because I asked for one, and he said, I have like a bajillion and three, and you can come get one. So I went and stole one from the colony. And in return, I'm paying him in uh, smooth stone stacks. Which I think I'm down to only owing him like 500,000. So, as I do that, I'm going to go ahead and wait till night. Come on, hurry up, night time. Uh, hmm. Are we going to go night? Is it night enough yet? Let's see. Sleep. Oh, there we go. As you guys can see, I was playing around earlier. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and hop down there. Uh, do we have any pearls on us? No. Do we have a wall or a big chunk of them right there? Get the food on here. Let's see if we can jump down here and do this one time without screwing it up. We can make that villi other villager. But you know what? Oh, uh, I don't have the emerald block so i'll definitely have to go back and get that but these are pretty inch or simple statues you know what i actually don't have hardly any of this stuff i need so i accidentally converted it all to uh uh cobble or a uh, mossy cobble oh that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to get to the chest but not like that hmm do i have any oh there we go that's enough that should be enough 64 all right Back down to the hole we go. Whee! I don't know how many times I've actually not hit that and gone in the water and be like, oh. Yeah, it's basically just a, a two by three for the base. And you go up like four, I think it is. Not including the base, so one, two, three. That should be the height there. Now, I have a trick with the eyes. I don't think Zloy did this at the colony of... Because it's not really noticeable unless you're using shaders, which I will show you that later. But, uh, hmm. uh, I've done something. Oh, I know what it is. See, got ahead of myself a little bit. Because what I need to do here is pop that up. 
move this over. This will be its head. The start of it, the bottom of it. And then you put, will be for the eyes. And then have it there. Regular block there, regular block there, regular block there. There. And the reason I'm doing this with the eye, or the stairs for the eyes, with back here, is so this torch light actually shines through. Which I think is a rather neat idea. So we're going to go here. And there. I have to do this so I can place that stair upside down, because otherwise it'll connect to these stairs and then it's just a flat faced villager. We don't want that. Torch back in there now. Oh, don't fall off. I think that is it for the main body of it. That looks about right. And then we'll come over here, put the arm in like that. Come up here, arm there. Oh, I think I went up too high. Whoop, blop. Arm down. I think that's the same level. And this one is the one that's supposed to have the staff in it. With the emerald on the other side. Or on the top of it, not on the other side. What am I talking about? Uh, oh, nope. Hmm. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, I can definitely. I can probably just jump on the back of his head from up here. That'll work. Wow, there we go. Uh, but I need to actually be down here. Boop. That's that. Can we jump back now? And then we'll have to come back down here to add his nose. His so nose goes like that. And do I not have any slabs on me? I do not. Man, I'm gonna have to jump back up here real quick. There we go. Run back up here. I thought I had everything in my inventory, but I didn't. <laughs> Mr. Slabs, where are you? In the infinite hunt for where everything is begins. Let's see. Let's see how cool. Oh, you know, before we go back down there, we ought to grab the uh, block of emerald. I'm not sure which chest. To... Oh, there it is. Block of emerald. Aha, those look really cool. As you can see, his nose is just a little bit different than his nose, so. It's because it's missing the uh, slabs. Oh, aha. So we put a slab here for the underneath, because you notice villagers' noses kind of hang off their face just a tad. So you gotta give that aspect of it. And there we go. A little bit of that. And that, and then ender pearl back to the other side, because I have ender pearls and I'm gonna use them. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah. Some nice, oh, you know what? I see what's different now. Hmm, I don't have any diorite on me though. You know what, is there diorite in the hillside that I can just easily snag? Ha ha! Oh, there is. Come here, diorite. There, that'll work. That way I didn't have to go all the way back up to the chest. And we can just swim over there real quick as I hit the side of the wall. Here we go. Oh. One. Now they should look even. Yep. Hello, Mr. Squid. Hope you have a pleasure swimming today. But yeah. And there we go. We have two villagers guarding the mine entrance. Which I have plans now that I actually put the villagers down here. And I'm going to have some kind of trading villager center down here. Like they're kind of imprisoned or something. But right now this is just basically a mine that I'm using. To gather all the materials that I've been getting, or for all the diamonds and everything. So I can start building that island up there. So, I'm going to just show you how much I've cleared out already. A good portion of this actually went to Nick Nasty and his project over there on the colony. But yeah, whoa! As you can see, there's the beacon. And like I said, I've cleared out a ton of it. Which is actually really cool though, because I've actually found ravines and stuff in here. So... We're going to have to make this kind of... I want to make it go back to looking natural when I'm done. And just somehow maybe put the villagers in here. Or maybe just make it a giant crypt dungeon thing. Not sure yet. But this will have a purpose when I'm not, not just a silly 
oh look, I took all the blocks out of here. But I think now, basically what I'm going to do is make this part of more of a progress episode now from here on out. And start expanding that island up there. Which actually, I think before we go to that, before I cut and say, hey, look what I did. In about two seconds here. Uh, I'm going to jump back up here. Actually, it's going to be a little bit more than two seconds. But jump up here. And pearl up there. Pearl, all right. And then pearl up there. Oh, I didn't pearl enough. Oh, there we go. I mean, this place is just massive and awesome, which we haven't, I don't think I've showed you guys actually up here, but in the last episode at the very end, I did show a fly around. So you kind of got the gist of how awesome this place is, but I mean, just coming up here and standing, I mean, you can see all that. There's some cows up here too, which is really funny. Yeah, there they are. They spawned up here, but you can see all this up there. That looks really cool down there. From up here. Let's do Chidizumki. Yeah. Two little villager statues. Which are amazingly awesome. And like I said, that was just a little side project. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start expanding this island. And I'll bring you back, guys, whenever I have a bit of it done. Because I want to go that way and that way with it. About, I don't know, I'm, well, I'm thinking 64 blocks. And then I want to kind of mimic the shape of the island. Because I want it to look all natural generation. As best I can. So... When I get a little bit back, or a little bit done, I'll bring you guys back. Well, I've got a big chunk of the island actually made out the outline of it. And I've actually filled it in. You guys can see it's quite big. Right now, the tree is still up here. Here, uh, jump up here real quick and show you guys. It's actually a lot different than I had originally planned. Oh, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because. I made a map of it before I started changing it around, but basically I started out with just going straight out that way and straight out that way, and it got really pointy and it didn't look organic at all. So, but yeah, it's just a giant uh, torch field at the moment. But basically, what I'm going to do is I don't think I don't have any blocks on me, but what I'm going to do is uh, lift this up, cup maybe one, maybe two, like inward, and kind of give it a slope. And then kind of build it. You can see I've done started doing it in there, building up with the grass. But this is going to be the main island for now. I may put another little small one over there, and another, probably not one over there, because I'm actually going to build a pathway up via little islands connecting, coming off of probably either that or that area. Let's come back down here real quick, and I'll show you guys the map that I was talking about how pointy it originally was yeah that's the well, right here I'll show you this is like the one downside to having this is it's become a giant mob spawner down there so I got to be kind of careful if I go that way and luckily I've only died once coming off the thing I did have several falls but only one that actually killed me yeah here's the maps and you see how pointy it is compared to what it actually looks like now hello zombie can't you see I'm busy here Got things to do, buddy. Got my way. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. So I either really need to light this up or just go ahead and start tearing this mountain down. Let's go ahead and pop that map out of there. Get out of there, map. Oh, that didn't go in the right spot. See, that one goes there. Oh, man. See, that's what I'm talking about. The spawner is ridiculous. Man, there's just tons of them up there. Oh, and I do believe that one goes there if I spin it right. Yeah, you can see the island goes up in here like that. That's actually kind of cool. You can see the villager statues. They look really odd from up here. But so I may actually extend this island out a little bit more, or this side of it out just a tad bit more. But that is a huge island, as you can tell. Basically, everything underneath it is going to be removed to some degree. I kind of want it to just be ocean, kind of like it lifted up out of the ground. So I'm going to have to start tapering it off down here, too, to make it look more natural like it has done that. So, but I think I've got a very nice start on it. So, 
I think if you guys like that, let me know in the comments below. And stress just gone, so let's say hi to stress real quick. Hello, stress. Um, it's good to see her back on. She's been having lots of issues, but yeah. Villagers down here. And ooh, it's actually nighttime. Let me tell. Hopefully she doesn't sleep. Cause I want to take a picture or show you guys this what it looks like in the uh, shader mod. Ah, nearly. Ah, she almost did it. Oh, I'm glad I got her right before she did it. Uh, let's go with ultra. Ah. It looks so cool. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and chill down in the mine for a second. That's where we'll end off this episode. Oh, with the shaders on. Whee. So if you guys like what I'm doing with the island, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you think I, I have any suggestions that I can make it look better. And maybe more organic. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If this is the first video of mine you've seen and you'd like to see more of this, uh, and definitely the uh, full work on the island, uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, make sure you guys check out all the other full stack gamers. I will link to the, or have a link to the website below. And uh, you guys have a good day. Bye!